guys, it took you a hot minute to get into your shitty situation between you and your specific person, so it might just take you a hot minute to get yourself out. Let's say you guys are split up, you haven't spoken in a few months, and now he's jacked up with Sheila down the road. Now, it's all fun and games to a firm script or do imaginary acts when nothing's triggering you in your 3D world, but it's a whole different ball game when shit hits the fan and you discover that there's a third party involved or he completely ignores you in that nightclub that you were both in on Saturday night. Those will be those exact moments where your ability is tested. Now this is where majority of people give up because they see shit going down, it's not the way that they want it to, and they decide to revert back to their old way. So they give up, they cry, they decide it's over, they're doomed, they haven't got a complete shit show and changing the situation. But it's actually in these exact moments where you really need to show your money's worth because it's these exact moments that will either make you or break you. And I'm speaking purely from my own experience when I was manifesting my specific person and discovered a third party. But you've really got to get honest with yourself and ask yourself, how diligent can you be here? How much can you continue to persist even if it feels like a complete shit show? Can you control yourself? Because do you want your specific person or not? If your answer is yes, then you guys really need to be your own motivator, give yourself a kick up the ass, and get yourself back on that horse. Because you guys have really got to learn not to mentally shit on yourself every single time something comes up that you don't like. And you've really got to be patient and ignore the time that it takes with the visible movement or lack of. Because how much you persist when things feel like a complete shit show will determine whether you manifest your specific person or not.